Okay, so we are cooking nachos in the cast iron Dutch oven. We did this once before, and so I'm gonna show you what I got here. Um, we got some red onions, some pepperoni cut up, some avocado, and a yellow bell pepper. And so Nick grated up some cheese. Can you hand me the, well, or I don't need it yet. Um, so yeah, Nick grated up some cheese for the nachos. This time we're using cheddar. We had cheddar jack last time, I think. Um, and I've preheated this Dutch oven just a little bit. Hopefully it's not too hot, but I'm basically just gonna start by layering in the chips and I'll show you hopefully as I go. All right, so we got another layer of chips. We're just gonna add another layer of everything else again, so. I don't know, we might get three layers or else we're gonna have a lot of toppings on this. And this might look like a lot of food, but we've sort of, not necessarily on purpose, but the routine has sort of become that we don't eat much until dinner. <laughs> so, um, and there's a lot of onion on top, but I love red onions, so. So do I. Okay, perfect. Um, we basically don't eat. We have coffee in the morning, because I don't, I'm not doing this without coffee. Um, and I don't think you'd be doing this without oh. coffee. <laughs> Nick's even bigger on coffee than I am. So, um, we have coffee, and then depending on just what the day holds, whether we, I mean, we might eat, we might not. Um, but if we do, it's usually just a little snack. Mm -hmm. um, like, I don't know, crackers and cheese. Yeah, like Triscuits, Triscuits uh, tomato, and uh, tomato. salami. And salami, yeah, that's that's a good one so far. Or boiled peanuts. Yep. The boiled we found peanuts. canned boiled peanuts at Walmart for I don't know, like a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty a can, so we bought a whole so bunch. So we bought a bunch, <laughs> and they make a perfect afternoon snack because it's just like you just put them in a pot and boil them up, um, let them sit for however long you want. I actually think they get better the longer they're in there for the most part if you keep them on a low simmer, and. Um, yeah, you just eat those. You get a lot of uh, electrolytes if you're working hard that day or whatever, if it's hot. Uh, not that it's been hot, but we have been working hard. Um, and you get some protein for the peanuts. And it's just good. It's a really good snack. I don't know why that hasn't caught on, but I've missed boiled peanuts from Florida and Georgia uh, when passing through. And so... Yeah, it was your first experience with boiled yep. peanuts, right? It sure was. Yeah, they're and good, I huh? Really love them. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to do the cheese before that cut, but that's fine. Okay, so let's add some more cheese. Dog wants all of this, but dog, you're not getting any of it. Okay, so I'm hoping these turn out as good as they did last time. Holy moly, is that? Filled to the brim. <laughs> Close. <laughs> look, look. Chicks, chips take up a lot of volume, all right? Yeah. I mean, this might be... A, there's a lot of veggies in here, too, though. That's the thing. It really adds up. Okay, can you actually um, mm -hmm. hold this while I get the last of these? Woo! Not, not the things over. This is life in a van, folks. Life in a van. Just trying to get the rest of this mm -hmm. good topping. On top. Well, I didn't chop it for nothing. We might. I don't know if I can eat all this. I mean, we did have a snack today, so it might. But you know what? I can probably eat it later. <laughs> Cold. Yeah. It's fine. Same here. All right. So you might notice that part of this is gone. <laughs> yes. We used it to patch Nick's roof. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so we did that today. We rigged up your windshield wipers so that those would work because a motor, the motor broke. It's a long story, but we did that. We rain extra your windshield. Uh, we're waiting on getting a transmission tomorrow morning, hopefully. And I have to work, so I guess we'll, we're just going to juggle it all. It's all going to happen one way or another. Okay, so is that still hot? Yeah, that's still hot. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the lid back on. Still pretty warm. So I'm gonna basically leave it in the warmth. I'm gonna turn it on low, very low. Um, this is our butane burner, one of them, Nick's butane burner. I have one. Uh, that has been amazing. Okay, so that's on low. 
I'm gonna leave it on there until everything starts to melt a little bit, and then I'm gonna um, get all this avocado off my hand. And then I'm gonna basically, I'll show you when I get there, but I'm just gonna prop it open just to, to let steam escape. But for now, I want the heat to build up a little bit more and melt everything. So we'll come back when we get to that step. <laughs> okay, so I've cracked it a little bit now because, oh God, there's dog hair everywhere. Um, <laughs> because it's, there are a lot of veggies in there and uh, other things that have moisture in them. So I don't want them to get soggy. And that was what I noticed the first time. So hopefully this will keep enough heat in there and let the moisture out. I think it will. So if this doesn't turn out very well, um, I'll just insert pictures from the other night because and video <laughs> from the other night because those were perfect. So, um, so yeah, one way or another, you're gonna see the end result, and it was really good last time. So, it was amazing. Cool. Well, we'll let this go until it gets all melty and nachoey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I turned it off um, at some point, a few, a couple minutes after I cracked the top, but I'm actually going to flip it back on here for a minute, and I'm going to turn it on as low as I can get it, which is kind of a delicate venture with these stoves. Um, yeah, lower than that, jeez, well, come on now. Wow, off, see, it's hard, then it's all the way back up, okay, there we go. So in just for a minute, and so I might actually cover it just to get some better heat build up for a minute, and then um, I'll crack it and turn it off again. But uh, this is a good, it's not difficult. Like we're sitting here just talking and having a good time while this cooks in the background. Like we don't have, you know, I just cooked or chopped everything in the beginning and that's basically, and the cheese grating. Mm -hmm. It was pretty easy and very easy to clean up because we'll show you how we're going to eat this, but it creates very few dishes in the cast iron. I mean, you did it, it is so easy to yeah, clean up. Yeah, basically just wipes it clean. Yeah. So, um, let me just look in here real quick. So the cheese is starting to melt and everything. Mm -hmm. So we just want to get it a little more melty. So that's why we turned it back on low. I might turn it up for just a second. Um, put the lid back on. <clears throat> and we'll turn it off in a minute and crack it again. And then I guess we'll, yeah, probably be done, close to done. Okay, so they're definitely done. Everything's melted. I just turned on the heat for one last second and covered it uh, up while we got the salsa and sour cream together that we're going to eat it with. And a couple bowls, or one bowl, two forks. We're gonna, this was how we did it last time, did dirty less dishes and it worked great. So get that set over there. Now, this is the sort of dangerous part, dog. No, get back. Let go, you need to back up. Lay down. Down. Good point. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to turn off the heat. Oh. Can you move that stuff so I have room to put? I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna show you how these turned out. Sizzly, melty, goodness. Okay, now we're gonna eat. <laughs> okay, so here I can get the lid. So Nick is going to get some of these out and put them in a bowl for us to share and that way we can put the lid on and keep the rest hot. Um, while we eat some and so because this table is plastic we put the whole Dutch oven this idea, into another cast iron pan <laughs> that it fits perfectly in that is cold so it's just going to slowly dissipate the heat instead of melting this plastic table because that's, like, that's what we got what do you oh tongs oh good idea yeah, full of good ideas okay so just gonna break into it with some tongs. That's, uh, I think, very smart. Smart move there. Okay, and into the bowl it goes. <laughs> Get some chips in there. We do have more chips. There's a lot of topping though. This is the 
trying not to make all the crunchy sounds before we bite into them. <laughs> well, and yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> support it with a fork. A great technique, great support with a fork. So Nick has just informed me, after we've already gotten nachos into a bowl here, that he has hot sauce that I would have loved to have thrown on. But we're gonna throw it on now, I think. Just a little, how good is it? I don't know if I wanna put it's that on. It's a little bit sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, we won't put that one on camera. <laughs> it's a little rude for my channel. Um, Tabasco. Okay. Um, I want to try the other one, but let's. Can, I just want to dig in, though. That's what I want to yeah, do. So let me. Uh, all right. Let me get a little. Little chippy. Oh, you, a spoon. Spoon for the sour cream, because right now I'm or the salsa, whichever way. You know what? Fuck it. We're sharing, right? Ah. Oh, good. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Nick's gonna have his test bite now. Go for one with <laughs> avocado and stuff on it. Yeah. I'm not gonna film you though. Mmm. Because this light is bright. Delish. Yay! I also give it the seal of approval. Mm hmm. Very good. And the Safeway salsa, by the way, is the best. The mild is so good. I love that. It's really, really, really good. But in the sour cream, we just got it. <laughs> Whatever. Grow oh, grocery outlet, which also great store. Okay. Catch you later. <laughs>